Hi all, welcome to clickshare.com. In this video, we will look at today and now functions. I'm sure we all know today and now functions in ClickView. However, these two functions have additional features. So we will try and look at the additional features within the today and the now function. So let me jump to ClickView. And I've created this ClickView file some time back on 2nd of April or 1st of April, I guess. You can pass three different parameters in these functions. So we will look at each parameter and understand the output of each parameter. So let's look at the default functions. So let me create a text box and I'll call this today and click on OK. And uh, let me create one more text box and I'll call this now. So if you see here, I am getting the timestamp. So the system clock is running. So I'm constantly getting the timestamp. So let's understand what happens if we use this function with additional features. So let me go ahead and delete these. Now, if you look at it, the first function call has zero parameter. And the zero parameter will get the date within the today function based on the script execution date. So this script was executed on 1st of April. That's why it returns the 1st of April date. And the timestamp was 2130. So when you use a zero value as the parameter within the today or the now function, you will see the script execution date. Okay. And the second feature is function call date. When you use the timer zone parameter as one, we will get the function call date. So this function was evaluated today, which is 27th of April, and it's evaluating on real time basis. So now the system clock time is 1320. So this is your default setting when you don't specify any parameter. And interestingly, there's a third option, which is document open date. So if you specify the parameter as two, it will be the document open date. So we've opened the document today again, and I've opened it at 13.07, so like 13 minutes back. So let me save this. And interestingly, if you remember this 13.07, and let me close this, and let me open the file again. And now if you see, it's 13.20, so the timestamp has changed. These are very, very useful features when you wanted to get information about document open date or the script execution date. So they're very simple to use, but very, very powerful. I hope you will find this video useful and I would encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day, where I ask ClickView questions on regular basis and you can answer them to assess your knowledge. You would see instant results and also you can compare the results with other developers and designers. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me open a new session and let me go to clickshare.com and click on QQOTD. And if you see, I ask questions about ClickView security design, administration and development. And if you see, I've already asked 138 questions. So you can answer the question and then click on continue. You can also see where you stand when compared to other developers and designers. You can also access the archived questions. So I hope all this will be useful. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.